grocery haul because it seems to be quite popular with some people wanting to find out the kind of way you eat and I thought I'd show you guys guys <laughs> I'd show you guys what I like to eat basically on a day-to-day -day basis bear in mind the things that I bought today it might not represent everything I eat all the time but for most of the time it's it's what I tend to buy so I'll just run with through with the <laughs> I'll just run through with you what I've got um, this setting is going to change in a bit it's going to be in my room because for some reason my fridge is in there and into my freezer because the one that I have where I live at the moment is, it's too small to fit everything in so it'll be in my room in a bit and also the lighting is a bit crap in there so please forgive me for that so we'll be going into my room now in three And I'm in my room now and I'll just be unpacking everything and just showing you what I've got and why I got it basically. Okay, I've unpacked everything now so I'm just going to take you through everything and let's see what I got. Right, as you can see it's quite a lot going on um, all different kinds of things mostly vegetables like just note that it's mostly fruits and vegetables so like if you look over here we've got the dairy section so we've got some some fat free natural yogurt We've got some of this uh, dairy cream spray and I was meant to get the light one but I accidentally got the full fat one. Oops, never mind. Um, normally what I do with this is I just put a little bit on top with my, with some jelly, sugar free jelly, it's so good like, there's like hardly any calories in it hardly any sugar it's just it's super good and I've got some milk and also some fat free yogurt yogurt tends to have a lot of sugar in so I try to get, avoid the ones that are just packed with sugar this one has about six grams per one of these pots six grams per pot is pretty good so I opted for these ones this time um, I also got the cherry one, you know, just for a bit of variety. Right? Yeah, and yogurt. I add this to the jelly. Don't know if I mentioned that. And then milk. I just make use this for like smoothies, porridge, um, protein shakes, that kind of thing. And then this section is just vegetables I mean pretty self-explanatory but when I make stir fries or sauces or anything like that I just tend to just add a little bit of that in and then here is just the miscellaneous random bit now I've got some sugar boo but I just I just add it to tea and that's about it really I don't do anything else with it I've got um I bought some chopped tomatoes because I add that to when I'm cooking and this buffalo wing sauce to try it out and barbecue sauce finally I'll be stocking it again I'm pretty sure because summer is back so thank goodness for that I've got some garlic I've got some garlic because I was running out so I've got some more I've also got more of this uh, chili because I've run out of that and this is actually really like really hot I didn't think it was but just to uh, warn anyone out there who buys this from who's gonna buy who will who might buy this from Aldi just don't put too much in because you'll regret it and this section here I've got fruit so I got some strawberries normally I don't get strawberries but I saw these and I thought why not um, so I'll probably add it to smoothies um, yeah, most of most of like smoothies. Um, black forest fruit. I normally put this on those famous pancakes that you always see. Um, 
and then I've got blueberries as well and I also put the normally I'll put it on pancakes um, these two sometimes in smoothies if I feel like it I've got some of these uh, easy peelers as well and some apples I just love them I tend to just have it with my lunch just take one every day and an apple a day keeps the doctor away as they say ha <laughs> ha um, I've also got peach slices uh, this I'll probably try in like a smoothie because I did it with the mango ones yesterday and it was so good so probably be trying that out and like this is like I'd say my carb section so I've got some noodles just to for some stir fry that I'm planning to make soon and some wraps I went for the garlic one to make all kinds of wraps so like put chicken in there put some veg in you know give it a bit of variety um, I've got some sweet potatoes as well recently got into this um, sweet, they're just really really nice and it's just packed full of good nutrients so definitely try out sweet potatoes if you haven't and I also have bread normally I don't I used to eat a lot of bread before and then I kind of stopped but now I'm like back into it again so I go for the 50-50 one so it has white and wholemeal flour instead of just white bread and then back here in this little side corner um, I've got like I would say the fat section well good fat so I've got some coconut milk I opted for the light one just because I thought you know savour this calories for like other other things throughout the day I've also got avocados absolutely love them and recently just got into it I go through about four a week but I only found these uh, this were this one had two in the pack so I just went for this but I'll probably get some more during the week but absolutely love avocados and they have like healthy fats so don't be scared definitely add avocado into your life protein section um, I've got some of this basophilic fish um, I have never I don't think I've ever tried this before but it, you know fish is a good source of protein so I thought you know let me try this out I'll see what I can do with them I mean they definitely look good so give that a go just got some eggs you know box standard eggs nothing special Normally I tend to lightly fry them in oil or boil them or scramble them. I know there's just loads of varieties when it comes to eggs and also baked beans. Absolutely love baked beans. I normally, because I'm British or live in England you could say, we tend to eat this for like we'll have it in a we'll have it in a I was about to say smoothie then but no we don't do that. Um, we have like when we have when I have baked potatoes, I like to put these in there, and um, yeah, for like breakfast sometimes as well, just eggs and beans and some toast. Pretty much, I love that as well. And then I've got some. I think this is the only processed thing I've got. Well, this and the tomato and garlic sauce, which I. Um, use for like air bolognese and things like that. I've got this grilled vegetable pizza. I mean the macros aren't like, they're not the best to be honest. They are like, for half the pizza it's, this camera is like the worst thing I'm focusing seriously. Oh my arm's getting tired as well. Okay, so half the pizza is 7.9 grams of fat, 54 carb, and 15 protein normally I just have the whole pizza to be honest like half of it it's kind of small but this is not like I don't always have pizza it's sort of just on a Saturday I tend to have these but it's not like very often it's just because I tend to be quite lazy on a Saturday and I can't be bothered to cook so I just have this I can afford to have pizza on a Saturday it's not a big deal so yeah, I think that's everything really. 
hopefully I didn't miss anything and hopefully you enjoyed the video and got to see the kind of things that I like to eat basically on a day to day basis. So I want to thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!